So everyone in this room ate a plant today, or multiple plants, or maybe only plants. But the fact is, whether you had a steak or an apple, all of the energy required to grow that food came from a plant. And it's not just you. Every person on the entire planet depends on plants for food. And by the year 2050, that will be 9 billion people. Now, we cannot produce enough food today to feed 9 billion people. We have trouble producing enough food to feed the population that we have. And together with climate change and urban sprawl, constantly taking away land that we would otherwise use for farmland, we're going to have a real problem of how to produce more food on less land. We are going to have to increase a plant's efficiency to the point where we can maximize the amount of food it can produce. But it's hard to modify a machine to fix a problem if you don't understand how the machine works. And that's where my thesis comes in. I study how veins form in the leaf. Now, if you've ever held a leaf up into the light, you may have noticed the complex pattern that these veins make. This pattern is absolutely required for the proper transport of sugar and water to and from the leaf, and is therefore required for a plant's well-being. In fact, plants that do better in warmer, drier climates have more veins in their leaves. Now, previous research in my lab has identified the protein required to initiate vein formation in the leaf. Behind me, what you can see is the picture of a leaf. And every yellow dot on that leaf is another cell that contains this protein. So how can this protein, that's found pretty much everywhere, be responsible for initiating the intricate pattern of the veins? And that's what I wanted to find out with my thesis. When I looked closer at cells that were just starting to become vein cells, I noticed that they had a higher level of protein in them than the cells surrounding them. To see if this mattered for vein formation or not, I increased the amount of this protein over the entire leaf. And when I did that, I found that more cells were able to initiate these early stages of vein formation. And when I decreased the amount of protein over the entire leaf, fewer cells were able to do so. This suggests that it's not merely the presence of a protein which is required to initiate vein formation, but the amount that the protein is present in. With this knowledge, we will be able to optimize vein density in every single leaf, increasing plant efficiency, and hopefully food production so we can feed a world 35 years from now. And just to put that into perspective, most of the presenters here will live to see the population reach 9 billion people. Thank you.